generationally. Recently, I was uh, in a course on Vancouver Island with uh, uh, Kwakwakyu, <laughs> forgive me, uh, elder uh, named Adam Dick, who is in his 80s, and he's one of the last traditional, like of a, a high language speaker. So there's all the people that are in their 50s and 60s who speak Kwakwakyu, but they don't have this old language, so it's, it's already changing and being lost. And he walked into um, this, to, to the room with a bunch of elders, I thought. And the elder, I'm like, oh, lovely, we have the elders here. And the elders looked at me and they're like, we're not elders. We've been studying with him. He's the elder, you know, which was really beautiful to have, see that respect. And, and one of the men said, I've been studying with him for 30 years and I still don't have that language, which is essential, you know, for a worldview. And then when Adam, for the next two days, began speaking and sharing knowledge and how the translation of the words came forward, there was something about that that I was just like, whoa, wait a second, that just completely tra changed the way that, you know, I'm looking at some of the the world, per se, by having those words and, and something, that's the peace there because we've all been, you know, all of every single person on this earth you know, especially in North America, we've all been domesticated into, you know, a certain way of being, which is out of balance, as we know. And in this time of out of balance, of place of, of, of all of the chaos that's happening, you know, how do we ground ourselves, you know, steeped in that knowledge and the wisdom that is available to us? Adam said something really beautiful. He said, I had, I had the gift to um, be raised by my elders in the bush and <laughs> chatty, chatty. Uh, I had the gift to be raised at, by the elders in, in, the, in the bush and learning all of these things. He said, but what you don't realize, and I'm just like, whoa, this is really cool to our name, indigenize, and the whole idea, he said, is that you have those teachings in your cells. And if you can do the work, you can access the old wisdom teachings because they'll come through you in songs and ceremonies. And I was just like, thank you for saying that because sometimes we get lost in, you know, these are the rules. And so there's a real, um, there's a real gift in what Indigenize offers is that it allows the space for the trans, not only the transmission of knowledge with elders and youth there, but also that space through the, through play, through the arts that, that allow for something else to happen.